Interbark Outdoors coverage of SHOT Show 2016 is brought to you by Tops Knives, the operator's edge. Hey there, I'm Tom with Vertex. I'm going to take a few minutes and tell you about our new Delta stretch pant. Basically what we've got is a full way stretch fabric that's a lot more towards the outdoors and lifestyle branding compared to what we've done with our tactical brand before, but it does incorporate all the features that everybody likes about the Vertex pants. It's got the knife notch in the pocket right there, flashlight or knife pocket on the back side there, four-way gusseted crotch, and the double articulated knees. Now it's a trimmer fit than what you would see in a typical tactical pant, but at the same time, uh, a far more comfortable fit as well with the expandable waistband, uh, just a really, really comfortable pant. And then you can see our color palette we've got right here, the gray, the tan, the brown, and then the uh, green on the front right there. Hi, I'm Matt Jaquies. I'm here with the uh, the Vertex crew this week at uh, SHOT Show. We're going to start talking about the, the messenger bags, the new bag portion of the bag line that we have. Uh, there's two different sizes, a small and a large. And basically what we're going to do is try and find another discreet way to transport a rifle and not draw a whole bunch of attention to yourself. So this is a, a sling type portion bag that you're going to put on very much uh, like the commuter sling. And basically what it's going to allow you to do is still have an EDC pull tab, much like you've seen uh, all the way across the Vertex line. It's the same DNA. So as I bring this around in front of me, I can produce a, a rifle up to 28 inches long, hold a, uh, a Mark 18, 10 and a half, 11 and a half inch upper, things like that. You can also use a longer rifle if you have a, uh, like a law tactical fold or something like that on your, on your rifle. So it allows you to discreetly move around with that rifle. It's got usable portions on the outside that you can get into and out of. And basically what it allows you to do is use different pouches on the front for magazines. There's micro Velcro that's in on the inside so you can use the Tactagami to, to outfit this the way you'd like. More pouches, you can fit double, uh, double AR mags on either side or use it to uh, organize some of your other gear. Soft pass through, just like uh, some of the other DNA in the bags. So it's a very utilitarian bag and a discreet way to, to carry a rifle. The other one that we're getting a lot, of, a lot of buzz about is the garment bag. So while it's uh, still a fully functional garment bag, you can hang it in the hotel room, still use it to, to transport your clothing in and out. The thing that it does for you, moving from the vehicle uh, when you're out traveling, things like that, it looks just like a trifold garment bag. So now, is I put the garment bag on. This also, much like the large messenger bag, is gonna allow you to transport a rifle that's up to 28 inches overall length. On the outside, we have the livable portion of the bag. It actually allows you a little bit of organization. There's two mesh pockets in there that you can use. The actual stowable portion, again, EDC pull tab as I bring the bag around, if I perceive a threat as I open it up allows me to produce a rifle. Again, up to 28 inches long overall length. Inside that pouch, micro Velcro, molly strap, so you can use a molly adapter panel, things like that. 10-speed um, pouches from Blue Forest Gear work really great. They, they suck the magazines up against the wall. They help conceal it, help, uh, help keep them secure. So it's, uh, that's the working portion of the bag. As we zip that up, Move along to the top, we still have our 1919 webbing in our straps that are, are very common all the way across the bag line. Braided steel cable that is coated, so that gives you that security, runs all the way through the bag. So now if you want to, you can actually grab a lock, lash it to the seat brackets in your vehicle, something like that, to give you a little more security while it's inside the vehicle. On the opposite side of the bag, Full micro velcro, about 90% of this back wall is covered in micro velcro, so now you can use, again, any of the Tactagami Molly adapter panels so you can put all of your other kit in there on IFAC, extra mags, anything you need to, any, any road supplies. Has the full pass-through, so now if you've got your pop-up roller that you're, uh, you're traveling with, you can actually slide this over that handle, and now you can grab that and, and move through the airport and not have to worry about carrying two different things. On the outside of the bag, we still use aluminum G-hooks, so now if you slam in the car door in the, uh, the tailgate of the truck, they're not gonna break, running the bag useless. One on either side to help compress everything. And then as we start to open the actual bag up, this gives you everything you need to to make it a fully functional garment bag. So now you can actually move from here, hang it in the hotel room, 
hang everything in here. You've got an actual organizer that's gonna help keep all your hangers and things in place. Still has a full compression strap. So as you're loading this thing out, you can actually snap this down. Keeps all your garments straight and neat. There are two back pockets for shoes, things like that. Zippered front pockets for dirty laundry, uh, smaller items, underwear, socks, things like that. And as it's hanging in your hotel room, if you leave the rifle in there, you can actually spin around on the backside and your EDC pull tab is still here. If you need to, you can get in and, uh, and grab a rifle from, from that point. So from a, from a security standpoint, now you're not leaving your rifle in the, uh, the parking lot overnight. You've actually gotten in a room with you so you can keep control of it and, and watch what's going on. Obviously there's added security if you've got a carbine with you. So it's fully functional garment bag. You put a little garnish on the outside of that bag. You take a, a luggage tag, things like that, and make it look like it's a, uh, without a doubt to anybody looking at it, that's an actual garment bag. So it gives you that, that little bit of security and it, and it helps you carry that everyday carbine. Hopefully you'll stop by and see us. Matt Jakeby, thank you.